Hey, what's up, my friends? Todd Falcone here. Welcome back to another episode. And today I want to talk about this, why and how saying no helps you to succeed. You know, we, want to, we don't want to be yes men or yes women saying yes to this and yes to that. I'm not saying that we don't say yes to things, but we need to learn to say no and to say no to things that are not serving us. No to people that are constantly dragging us down, people that are constantly being negative, people that uh, pull us into our bad habits, people that uh, are mean, nasty, negative, whatever. Individuals learning to say no to people and surrounding ourselves with people that are not serving our greater needs. It's a very important thing, especially as we're kicking off here into a brand new year. Everybody wants to be better, do more, produce more, get fit, have more success. And one of the greatest things that you can do to succeed in your business, in your relationships, in your life is to say no to say no to people, negative people, uh, being dragged into drama, being dragged into negativity. One of the greatest things, in fact, uh, I had a friend of mine years ago who was very, very successful. This guy was massively successful prior to him saying no. But he told me, he goes, the moment I learned to say no to anything and everything that does not directly contribute to the execution of my business plan, that's when he saw massive success. So think about how oftentimes we only have, first of all, we only have 24 hours in a given day. That's all we got. We got 24 hours in a given day. We can't be working for 24 hours because the body needs to rest. We need to you know, rest and rejuvenate and recover for the next day. And even if we're putting in long days, I mean, I don't know what kind of days that you put in, but I mean, there's days where I put 12, 15, 16 hours in in a day as an entrepreneur. And it's taken up, all that time is taken up with different activities, different action steps. But the thing that you don't want to do is have your day taken up with a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. And it can be very, very easy to be caught up in things that really, you know, it's kind of, what's the idea, what's the, the phrase, majoring in the minors, right? You're, you're doing all of these things that really don't mean anything in terms of your bottom line to creating profits in your business. So. Uh, I think it would be a great idea for you as we kick off this new year, as we get rolling into 2023. What do you need to say no to? Do you need to say no to that negative person that every time you're around them, they're constantly dragging you down? They're constantly nagging you out. They're constantly trying to steal your dream from you. Are you gonna uh, say no to the person who maybe you wanna eat better or uh, stop drinking or do something healthier with your life? And the, you've got these friends that are constantly pulling in, pulling you into those bad habits. Maybe you need to say no to those people. Maybe there's some people that just uh, that that you're around in your business. In fact, that happens in business too. By the way, just because somebody's involved in network marketing, for example, doesn't mean they're all super positive and oh yeah, this is awesome, this is amazing. I say no to the drama. Say no to the negativity. Say no to any and everything that does not directly serve you and helps you move forward and feel good about your business. Look, I mean, it's like, again, you have limited time every day. You have, especially for, honestly, most network marketers are probably part-time people. The great majority, over 80% of people that are involved in the direct selling profession, in the network marketing profession, are part-timers. That means they're six to 10 to 12 to 15 hours a week. And so those folks in, in particular need to be very wary of their time and where that time is being used. So look, yeah, say no to succeed. That's, that's the message of the day. If you wanna be more successful, then you need to learn to say no to anything and everything that is not directly serving you. That means even your own personal habits. You might have some specific habits that you gotta go, look, I'm saying no to that habit. So it's people, uh, things that you do throughout the day. Maybe you get caught up in mundane activities. I know this happens all the time. You get sucked into TikTok and now, you know, three hours of your day have gone by and you're like, what the hell happened? I'm sitting here scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, 
and you're consuming, 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 but you're not producing, 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 because business is all about being able to be productive. And so I think anybody and everyone this time of the year, especially, and hopefully all year long, people are like, hey man, I wanna do better, I wanna do more, I wanna create more, I wanna earn more, I wanna feel better, I wanna feel better about myself, my body, I wanna feel better about my relationships, whatever those things are. And I don't even like to talk about resolutions because the truth is most resolutions are broken in the first two weeks of the year, right? The, the, my resolution to do this, that, or the other, like 90% of them are like broken in the first couple of the years. So screw the resolution. This is what I'm gonna do in 2023. I'm gonna do things differently. I'm gonna press the reset button on my business and on my life. And I'm going to do things differently this year than I did last year, especially if maybe last year wasn't so good for you or it could have been better than you would have liked it to have been. Well, today, right now, this moment, you can press the reset button, learning to say no to your habits, the bad habits that aren't serving you, these unproductive habits that you, you know, you get in the spin, I call it like the, the spinning circle of doom. That's like we get caught in this, the circle or the cycle of repeated activities that are not serving us. Well, you know what yours are. I know what mine are. And so having that awareness, that heightened state of awareness, first and foremost, is, is your first step towards being able to do things differently. Write it down on paper if you have to. These are the bad habits. These are the people. These are the things that I'm going to say no to and keep that stuff present so you don't fall back into some of the habits and things that haven't been serving you or your business. And you're going to find yourself happier. You're going to find yourself more productive. You're gonna find yourself just in a general better state of mind because you're only inviting and allowing things that are serving you to be coming into your life. Like drama, negativity, eh, nope, so you can stay over there. I'm gonna stay in a positive zone. I'm gonna stay in a productive zone. Positivity and productivity, those are two key words. Remember those words, learn to say no to anything and everything that is not serving you in terms of your desire to grow as a human being and grow in your business. So that's my message of the day, folks. I appreciate you guys for being here. Listen, uh, if you're on my YouTube channel, love the YouTube folks, appreciate you guys. Leave a comment there. If you're on my podcast, appreciate you. All the details of this episode and all sorts of other things to help you succeed in your network marketing business are right here at toddfalcone.com. And with, it, with this episode is forward slash episode 211. Again, T-O-D-D-F-A-L-C-O-N-E.com forward slash episode 211. Happy New Year. We'll see you soon.